I lost my virginity at 12 years old. I remember the boy, everything. I remember the whole day like it was yesterday. But um, 12, bitch, to now. Mm, it's, it's been a lot. Girl, is it just my body Not count everybody. for just niggas or niggas and bitches? Everybody. Stop the cap. Mm. Uh, I would say like, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I say like 2,000. <laughs> To be real honest with like if you put niggas in bitches, because I done fucked a lot of bitches too. So I be fucking niggas, I be fucking bitches. And I mean, I you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna front. Like I'm a I don't even know what to say to this other than she's a proud 304 that does not care about having an S T D or catching a certain type of S T D. She has sex with multiple niggas and females, so that pretty much makes her an ultimate 304. I don't understand female nature. You had sex at 12, and all of a sudden to now, when you became a rapper, you still had sex with all of the men and women. So you might as well be a porn star based on what I'm seeing from this clip. I tell you what. If any female wants to get with me, I'm going to have to pass on that because I don't want to date no 304 or date nobody who's been passed around like a rad dog throughout her life. I mean, this is just, I'm just flabbergasted of what I'm seeing right now. Like you, personally, I blame the mom. I don't, you see, when females are like this, you can tell they had no father figure in their lives for them to act all crazy and sleeping with other dudes left and right, having unprotected sex. And you slept with so many people in your career. How come you're not pregnant? How come you haven't had your blood work done? How come you haven't had no checkup if you caught something? Like, I don't know how y'all be doing it. It's just so weird and strange that you allow yourself to go around and sleep with a bunch of guys that you barely even know. And the sad part about it is that this started at the age of 12. That young. That's just scary. And why wasn't the mom or the father knowing about this? It's beyond me. But I believe there's got to be something to the story. Ain't no way in the world that her body count is... 2,000 people. There's no way that her body count is that high. And you wonder why in modern times when a lot of males want to get to know a female, they've always asked, what do you bring to the table? And based on this video, she brings absolutely nothing to the table but sex and looks, and that's about it. How many body counts you have? And so apparently, based on this clip, She's already explained to us how she is and does not care who she has sex with or who she runs into. If she's going to get it, she's going to get it. What I'm trying to say is that if you make certain decisions in your life based on this clip alone, understand that there's going to be some consequences that will come your way. If you continue to live this type of lifestyle because you're a part of the industry and I get it. Once you become a part of something in the industry, they will have you do certain mess on camera and behind the scenes and off camera and behind closed doors. Certain things will come to light if somebody failing to expose you. I'm not kidding. So many times we've seen a bunch of celebrities do certain things in the dark, whether it's a sex tape or somebody making out with who, I'm in the middle of the pandemic. This is still in the pandemic. Everybody is still catching COVID left and right. So I don't know if she caught COVID or not. It's beyond me, but this is just wild. And I'm just flabbergasted of what I'm seeing. So to every fella that is watching this video, Stay away from 304s like her or any other female that is like that. I'm telling you. 
it'll save you enough problems to deal with in your life. It's not worth the risk of dating a 304. Because if you do, chat, let me tell you something. If you date a 304, Lord knows you're going to end up becoming a beta male and you're going to become a simp. If you date a 304, if you allow your woman to do all of this crap. And, and ladies, if you're watching this, do better, be better. Don't be this example. I'm telling you. Because this is going to come a point in time in life when you get older, you're going to want to make better decisions in your life. Don't be this idiot right here that has a higher body count than any other female. And she slept with 2,000 niggas and women. So she should have been a porn star by now. So my advice to y'all, be careful. Because one of these days, if you keep making dumb decisions in your life, consequences will come your way. When you do porn, your family and your friends will disown you. If you do OnlyFans, your friends and family will disown you because they don't like that lifestyle. They don't watch porn. They don't like that OnlyFans nonsense. They want you to do better. Make better decisions in your life. But at the end of the day, this clip is everything I need to know about 304. And I got what I wanted. I got the answers I wanted. We got the answers we wanted. So... I'm going to go ahead and finish this clip before I end this off. Be sexual partners. Absolutely. Yeah, it is what it is. You know what? Hey, only God can judge me. I don't give a fuck. And you're right. Only God can judge you. But you're giving people plenty of reasons to judge you because of that. So don't go around expecting people to show you respect because of this lifestyle. And you wonder why a lot of men don't respect females nowadays. This is the result. And why do you think they cancel Andrew Tate because of him trying to warn us about females like this and the female culture? Yeah, he may have said some dumb mess in the past, but guess what? He's only human. And a lot of feminists and females and male simps and Angry women feminists get mad at people who support Andrew Tate because of the facts he's speaking. They don't want to live in reality. They rather stay in this fantasy bubble. The same goes for this bra right here that took no accountability for what she's doing. And you're right. Like she said, God can only judge you, but the rest of the world will continue to judge you because of this dumb decision you make to have a body count that's over 2,000. Two freaking thousand. I'm surprised you ain't got no STD. And I know this video might get demonetized. I don't care. I said what I said. This is a mess. So if y'all want the original video, I will post it in the description because this right here is a mess. Fellas, women, know your worth. Do better. Be better. That's all I got to say. I'm going to holler at y'all about the video.